Boy from Mechikari and we are at Brixton Academy. Alright, I'm Chris. I'm Ralph, Mechikari. We're sitting in one of the dressing rooms at Brixton Academy and I'm Rob Rolf. Very excited, a bit nervous too actually, but it's our biggest headline date to, um, that we've done so far and biggest London show. So yeah, very, very nerve wracking, but we've got everything on our side actually, it's all our production, everything's worked around us, so yeah, it should be, should be a great show, we've got a lot of good things in play. We've only played here once before, and that's supporting Billy Talent, that was a pretty mad show, and um, I don't really have that many memories apart from getting hit in the mouth with a glow stick and spitting blood for the, the rest of our set. Uh, that was quite interesting. This is definitely um, our biggest headline show to date. Um, Brixton is one of my favourite places to play as well. It's going to be awesome. It's the biggest uh, headlining show that we've ever had. We played here once before and I think half the crowd was ours anyway. And it was fucking awesome. Um, so tonight to have the whole crowd to be ours is going to be uh, Quite a thrill, especially a lot of friends and family are going to be here. My dad's going to be standing out the back with a tear coming down his cheek. Hey, Owen all, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, we, we always go out after shows, or if we're having an after show, we like go around and get people to come back and stuff and tell them where the after show is or ask them where the after show is. You know, like we always try and mingle as much as possible. Yeah, they're pretty crazy, some of them. You get some, yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, Crazy ones. Um, pretty dedicated. I've seen I've seen a lot of the same faces over this tour, which is it's pretty nice, you know, to have people sort of coming around with you and that are so diehard that they, you know, come to. There's this one kid that's come to about ten of the gigs, I think, this tour. This is like, there's a girl outside. I've forgotten her name now, but she's I think she's from Germany. But she's like half South African, half half Scottish, half German. It's just like, I don't know, a weird mixture and she comes, she follows us everywhere, so which we haven't seen her for a few months, so good to see her again. This is it's pretty cool. Uh, they're very excitable, especially when we get on stage and we excite them. Probably the St Albans show that we did, um, which is obviously where we come from, St Albans. We have this scoring system where um, we, when we come on stage, we uh, we all give a number from one to ten. Like you know, one's the worst, ten's the best, and like five's average. And um, this was the only gig where we, any of us, have had a ten, and we all had tens. So I don't know. It's just a great vibe, and like I don't know, because it was like our hometown. I guess it was like the kids were like the most sort of mental, but, like. They, they've ever been before, so. I think it would have to be one of the festivals, probably probably Download actually this year, where we were, we were main support to Corn on the Dimebag Darrow stage, the second stage. And it was just, uh, it was incredible, just never seen so many people pack into one tent, and, uh, yeah, and where we didn't really expect it as well. Um, so that was great, and just seeing everyone go absolutely mental. So, but, but I mean, any of the festivals really. Southampton, it was, I think it's these second biggest uh, show of this tour. It's basically just a massive hall and the kids were really up for it and uh, I was a little bit drunk before I went on stage so it really got me going psycho and jumping out into the crowd and uh, it was, it was, every show's been pretty good actually. Uh, I've had some massive leaps over the uh, photographers and bouncers down at the bottom to stage dive to get to the crowds, like, I think my, my biggest was about 10 foot I had to get. That was good. Took yeah. out about 10, 15 people with me. Mostly little girls, shoulder barge them, but I think they were right. They enjoyed it. Probably one that always stands out for me was um, a show in America we did. Um, it was in Plano in Texas. And it was like an old, sort of like a warehouse or something. And it had two stages, one at each side of the, the room. And we were on this small stage, um, and there's about 500 kids watching us. And uh, I remember after about the third song, you know, I was like, oh, "There's no one stage diving here in Texas. You know, what's going on? What's everyone playing at?" And just after that, it was just completely balls out, absolute nuts. It was literally more people stage diving than there were to catch them, and just huge bundles on stage for the mic and stuff. It was, it was like proper old school, but it was great. Nice. 